Hey, this is Noel Powell here to show you the chalk on chalkboard effect for Adobe After Effects. It will let you turn your HD or 4K footage into an authentic looking animated chalk drawing on a chalkboard. And this will also work with text or graphics or any kind of still image. Uh, the result will still be animated because it uses these animated textures to compose the image. It comes with lots of customization options to get the right look for your footage. So you can control the amount of detail. Uh, you can adjust the outline or the fill. You can add color or invert it. There are plenty of options. So this is the tutorial for using the template. And to go pick up your copy, just go to creationeffects.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, before I get started, this is just one of 40 different artifacts for your footage. Uh, they're all part of one large After Effects template called Creation Artifacts, which has lots of different mediums like watercolors, charcoal, claymation, pencil sketch, crayon, oil paint, and a lot more. So that'll be a better deal. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for that one as well. All right, you guys are in luck today uh, because I have COVID. And that means I sound a little more like James Bond and a little less like Steve Buscemi which you are constantly reminding me in the comments that I sound like him. But anyway, on with the tutorial. Um, there's a common problem in Windows when an After Effects project is zipped and you open the project. After Effects will give you a missing files error. So to avoid that, you can right click it and choose the Extract All option. Or if you're on a Mac, just double click it. And then open the file in After Effects version 17 or later. Your first step will be to import your footage. So I'll go to file and import and file. And I have a clip here of a woman dancing. So I'll click OK. And here it is. Next, I'll open either the 4K or HD folder here. My clip is HD, so I'll open this one. And I'll open the pre comps folder. And you want to put your footage into this pre comp named Put Your Footage Here. And now is a good time to add any brightness adjustments to your footage uh, so that you get the best results. You want the footage to have good dynamic range, uh, meaning the brightest parts should be pure white and the darkest parts should be pure black. And we can do this by adding a levels effect. Here we can see uh, we've got lots of information in the highlights. Uh, this is bright footage. And the wave goes all the way to the end. So I won't touch the arrow on this side, but over in the dark tones, there's no information here. So I'll drag this arrow to where the wave starts. All right, next I'll open my chalk on chalkboard comp and I'll play it back. And we got this sort of choppy stop motion animation of a, of a chalk drawing and it looks pretty cool, but let's see if we can make it better. If you select the control layer at the top here, and then go to your effect controls panel. You'll see a bunch of controls uh, for customizing the effects. So I'll run through these really quick. Uh, we have some check boxes up here so we can choose a uh, green chalkboard if we want or the frame, or we could turn off the alpha mat and our drawing fills the entire frame. We can do some basic resizing of that mat here. Uh, but if you want more control, over the mat, just come down here through the mat layer. And this is a pre comp layer, so we can just double click it to open it up. So, just a quick overview uh, you've got a control layer to customize the thin strokes and the thick strokes. Uh, here's what the thin strokes look like. And here are the thick strokes. Uh, you probably won't need to mess with the controls, uh, but if you want to change the shape of this mat, just select any layer to see its mask, and then you can change the shape of the mask to whatever you want. All right, back in our main comp, uh, we have some fill controls. I would definitely recommend you try this invert checkbox. By default, uh, the lightest parts of your footage will be light in the animation with these dense chalk strokes here. And then the dark areas of the footage have nothing. Uh, we'll just see the chalkboard. But if you invert it, I think I actually like this better uh, because we just see our subject isolated on the chalkboard. And now that we can see our chalkboard more clearly, let me go back to this one control I skipped over. 
Uh, this affects the opacity of this erased chalk texture. Um, on every frame, the texture changes. So it's like someone drew one image or frame, erased it, and then drew the next frame, erased it, and so on. Moving on, uh, we could also add the colors from our footage. So it's like a colored chalk drawing now. And uh, then uh, you can play with the rest of these. If, if you're not sure what it does, just crank it up and you'll see turbulence. That's kind of, that's like warping uh, to make the drawing less perfect and look more like it's hand drawn. The, the warping changes randomly on every frame. And next we have the outline controls. If I solo this outline layer, uh, we can see what it looks like. So you can increase the detail if you need to, or the width. A lot of options there. The threshold controls allow you to customize how much of these animated chalk textures are visible. There are three chalk textures, and I'll solo those. And I'm going to turn off that transparency grid so we can see it better. So this one has the lightest chalk shading, so it looks the darkest, and it will appear over the darker parts of your footage. This one will cover the midtones, and this one will go over the brightest parts. Uh, of course, I inverted it, so it's all opposite now, but you get the idea. So the threshold controls will allow you to expand or contract any of those textures so that they cover more or less area. Um, it's all based on the brightness of your footage. So each texture shows up over a certain range of luma values, and uh, these controls just expand or contract that range. These uh, might not help that much on her because she's moving all around, but for more stable footage, you can use these to uh, limit the t a texture to one area. Like, let's say you only wanted the mid-tone chalk texture on her face. And so you could play with these and maybe get that look. All right, last we have the texture speed controls. Uh, so we saw how this chalkboard texture changes on every frame, and also these uh, chalk textures change on every frame. Let me turn off the invert uh, so that we can see the texture in the background. So that's always changing, and when you play it back, some people find that it's too chaotic, that it's just flickering too much, and they want to slow it down. Uh, first of all, I should point out the frame rate. So I'll go to my composition settings panel, and this comp's frame rate is only 10 frames per second uh, to give it that stop motion look. So you can change that if you want, uh, but if you went up to something like 30 frames per second, it's gonna look very jittery and fast and chaotic. So if you need your video to be at a higher frame rate, uh, what you should do is create a new comp with your desired frame rate and then put this lower frame rate comp into that one. Getting back to these texture speed controls, uh, these are another way to turn down that chaos that we talked about. I'll turn the uh, chalkboard texture speed down to something like 15. And now if I play it back, you can see those textures just kind of fade into each other rather than changing completely on every frame. And you can also do that with the chalk stroke textures uh, as well as the matte. And then this last control affects the stop motion effect layer. Uh, that's this adjustment layer down here. The purpose of this layer is to make the animation look more crude or homemade, like if you took a separate photo of each drawing on the chalkboard and then edited them all together. So each photo has a slightly different position, zoom, rotation, and exposure, and you can control the amount of variation with these controls. Or if you use this stop motion effect control up here, it will increase or decrease all of those variation amounts all together uh, in proportion to each other. And that's about it. I will show you one last thing. If you double click one of these chalk textures to open the pre-comp, you can get in there and customize the texture. Uh, this just has two of these uh, chalk strokes images. And uh, this one's got the light and blending mode. And they're both just wiggling around, changing position on every frame so that no two frames will ever look the same. You can duplicate these layers if you want and uh, change the blending modes to get different looks. If you look on the control layer, there are some options for adjusting the random movements of the layers. Or if we go back to our project panel 
and open this images folder, we have some other textures we can experiment with, like crayon or pastels. Uh, those both look pretty similar to chalk. So if you want to bring one of those in, you uh, just select the layer that you want to replace and then hold down the Alt or the Option key on your keyboard and then you can drag one of these into your comp and it will replace the source of that layer. So that's the chalk on chalkboard effect. Uh, if you like free stuff, I've got lots of that at creationeffects.com. Free presets, uh, free effects and templates, all for Adobe After Effects. And again, if you're interested in the whole package of artifacts uh, with this chalk on chalkboard effect and 40 to 50 other artifacts, then go and watch the video for creation artifacts. Uh, the link is in the description. Uh, you can make your footage look like a Van Gogh painting or a Monet or paper cutouts or fabric. Just tons of custom creative looks for your footage. That's it. Uh, give me a like or subscribe if you want more stuff like this. And thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.